G'day mate and welcome back to Satisfactory with me JD. So we've got it up and running and although it looks a little bit wrong it's actually perfectly fine. So we've got a full belt coming in at 60 items per second um, because that's as fast as this belt runs and then we're splitting it and it means we're splitting it three ways so we go from 60 to 20, 20, 20. Um, so we've got 20 items coming into this this coal plant and this coal plant, um, which is more than it can use, a lot more than it can use. And as you can sort of see, no, hasn't happened yet. It will happen over time. Um, you can see it's already happened with the last ones. They actually had too much material coming in, so it's backed up and sitting on the belt. So we need to wait for these first two to back up because they're getting 20 items per second. At which point, this splitter won't be able to output this way and this way, and the extra pressure will get forced through the middle belt. Um, so that's what we're actually waiting on currently um, for this to happen. But it means that we've got a belt coming in, we're splitting it one, two, three, four, five, six, zoom, whoop, other way, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So if we take 60 and divide it by 11, we get five point yeah, something. Um, 5.4-ish. Um, 5.4, not quite, 5.5. Um, and, and these guys use 5.4. So it means we can actually run 11 of these, as I said. Um, it will require some time for these belts to back up. So when the first two back up, the next two will have to back up, the next two will have to back up, so on and so forth. But for right now, and come on, no, no, trying to climb on those things is horrible. For right now, uh, 570 megawatts worth of power. So we're great as far as power is concerned. Um, so the next thing we need to do is, is we need to look at any way the Mark II belts that we now have access to can be used to optimize what we already had because there was a couple of items where we just couldn't output fast enough and if, if just putting down a mark II belt increases the speed and the capacity of the factory we might as well do it so let's go have a look see and see what we can do so these this side's doing iron plate iron plates nothing we can do about it. it is running as fast as it possibly can um, that is one belt of iron plate going in there this guy wants 60 per minute because we're running at half speed so if i come over here this guy's out only outputting 60 per minute because we're running it at not full speed and if we go back one more step this guy's running at 10 per minute outputting 10 per minute because we can't run it at full speed either so we're going to run you at full speed we're going to run you at full speed we're going to come to here and we're going to run you at full speed and then logistics, conveyor belt mark two. We need some amount of reinforced iron plates that I don't have. But we do have this machine right here making them. Conveyor belt mark two. And upgrade that. So now we can get 120 out of this machine per second and into this machine every second. So this guy can now run at full speed, which is five per minute, which is not a lot, to be honest. Um, we obviously, we've already found that reinforced iron plates are gonna be very, very important. So we're gonna need more of them. Now this guy only outputs at 90 per second. So we don't actually have the 120 that we require to go into that machine. You're making iron plates and you want 20 per minute and normal is 15 per minute but I know this guy's only being fed at half speed because he's only getting half the ore uh, or half the, the, the um, ingots that he normally would so we need to first off we need to get more screws which means another one of these assemblies plus this guy is only going to put out 15 iron plate, which means we need more iron plate as well. 
So it's time to relook at all of this stuff and see what we can do. Okay, straight away, I'm going to change your recipe to doing rods. And then we want a seven constructor. Hopefully I've got room. No. My storage container. Yep, that did not fit my inventory. Uh, so we'll put you there. We're going to have you out the end of there. You're going to do screws as well. Now this belt does 120. We've got 90 here already. So I want a splitter. I want a merger. Right there. Oh, I get the extra 30 from this machine. Where's that power pole go to? Okay. Put a power pole in here. Okay. So you're going to put out another 90 per minute, but we can't use 90 per minute into this machine. So that means technically off this belt, we're still going to have some spare iron ingots. Um, this one's going flat out, so I really want to try and fit another split off this. The question is, can I get a split off this? Not even clean, let's, let's go for full spaghetti at this point. Um, I did say this base was going to be very, very organic. Uh, right, a full item. Let's go there, there. So this is going to bring the excess iron ingots. So we're going to run, hang on, let's go backwards. So we're going to run 30 iron ingots out of here. This guy's using 15. This guy, even though it says he's using 15, is not actually using 15 because this guy can't output. Um, this guy can only output... 33%. Come on, box speed, 33. Uh, let's go with 34. Oops, 4. So that means this guy can only run at 34% as well, which is 5 per minute. So we're outputting 30, we're using 15, we're using 5. So we're using 20. It means this belt around the back is going to have 10 on it. Uh, and we need more iron plates, so let's do another... Nope. Uh, smelter, not a constructor. Flip around the right way. And then we're going to use the excess from this belt in here. Let's set your recipe to be iron plates. Take power from that fire pole and put it there. So this guy is going to be doing 15 iron plates. This guy is going to be doing... What do we have left over? We've got 10 left over. So 34% again. So he's going to be doing 5 iron plates. Uh, we want to... Oh, uh, Merger. There. That and that side. That. Oop. Sure, I don't mind you. Pick, pick one. Hang on, which way's your output? And your output was sideways. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. And your output in that sort of direction. Put that in there. Put that in there. Uh, take all. Nope, still not going to fit. Hey, you. Half smile plate. Just can't fit it all in my inventory. Uh, no, I don't have a power shot on me. Okay, then we're gonna go eight. Because although buffers are bad, for right now they're convenient. So we'll put a storage container there, plug that on that side. Ooh, plug that in that side. Take 
hold. Take hold. Waking in here. Dump, dump, dump. Dump, 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 dump. And grab all. That was a fire. Okay, so you're going to produce 15. You're going to get to produce 5. You boys are going to do 120 um, screws per minute, which are going to go in there. And we now have this going fully optimized, 100% uptime, doing uh, reinforced iron plate at a grand total of one every five minutes, which is slow. Um, but it's better than it was. And, and that's really what the game's about, trying to optimize as we go. Now, not now, but soon, definitely. I actually want to take this all the way across and have a central storage over there somewhere so I stop running halfway across the base for everything. Um, this guy is full, which is unfortunate because I don't really have anywhere for it to... Nope. Don't have limestone in my inventory. I just I had some ingots that I could have just dumped in something. So, we've optimized that half. Let's see what we can do over here. Now, this guy is outputting 60 per minute. So, I don't need to touch him. He's outputting into two lots of 30 per minute, which are making 30 ingots per minute. You're using 15 ingots per minute. You're using 15 ingots per minute. Uh, you're making wire at 45 per minute and 45 per minute which are merging here which means you'll actually have 90 output and we can only feed it in at a um, um, so we're feeding in 90 but we can't get 90 down the belt so now we can get 90 down the belt we're going to make copper wire that much faster you are using 30 per minute and you're outputting 45 per minute okay so again with our optimizations we want a constructor now we have the power to sort of support crazy stuff like this so you're outputting 45 you're using 30 so half of that belt can go into there uh, you're also making copper wire to potentially go into one of these guys. So I want to have no, a splitter on this belt. I then want uh, you to come hard this way and then into there because I actually want a, another wherever you'll let me place it right there it seems oh you're both out so you won't let me okay uh, but I should be able to put a merger So I want to merge your... Let's go with there. So that goes in there. That goes in there. That goes in there. So you're out putting 45. 30's going in there. 15's coming this way. You're putting out another 45. 30's going that way. 15's coming this way. You, you and you are now all going to do cable. Which is 15 per minute. Then we're going to do 10, a merger, we're going to line up the center one, you, you, into your way, into you, and then 
you can I wrap you back? I can. Excellent. So we've gone from what one per fifteen per minute to now fifteen, thirty, forty-five per minute. Lots more power being used, but like we're now in a situation where power is not really an issue, so we can go a little bit crazy. Um, so we're now making cable even faster than ever before. We should go check our hard drive. And this doggo has just gone able. I've got no idea where he is. Uh, hard drive, hard drive, hard drive, hard drive. Ah, uh, the announced hard drive is complete. Select your desired reward. So we can get stitched iron plate. Which is six iron and 30 copper or we can get alternative blueprint iron ingot which is looks like iron and stone or we can get alternative blueprint reinforced iron plate so i know what reinforced iron plate but what's stitched iron plate it looks identical which is iron and screws now screws hang on let's go look Reinforced iron plate is currently 4 and 24. And you're going to offer me a 10 and a 24. So more iron plate, but less screws at 75 per minute. At 7.5 per minute. Or I could have probably the same amount of iron overall with copper, which at the moment we have no use for copper, at 7.5 per minute. So we're going to take that one. And then we have a permanent hard drive there for any other hard drives we find. Excellent. Okay. So, what do I have in here? I don't want. I don't want that. Uh, I've got a slug that I picked up whilst we're out and about. So, we're going to craft that. Uh, that can go in there. That can go in there. Sort again. Uh, that's a bit of coal. I should really dump that. That's biomass, biomass, biomass. Alien. So we picked up the alien organs. Can we? No. That's the only one we've got open. But we need ten of them, and I've only got six. So we still need to go on a little bit of a killing spree. So that can go in there. Uh, I get two iron ingots. I want to dump into something that uses them. Like you. You're making rods. Rods are coming out and you turn the screws at 60 per minute. 15 per minute. 15 per minute. So you can be run at full speed. You are being run at full speed. You can be run at full speed. You can be run at full speed. You could be run at full speed if something upgraded your belt. So again. Let's just upgrade that belt real quick to get screws into that machine even faster. Okay. Um, all these generators are running out of power, which is fine, because power-wise, we are still at nothing. Literally nothing. We've got so much headroom. Okay. Tier 3 is done. We can start ticking off some of these other tiers. Um, or actually, no, we just got the new recipe for reinforced iron plate. But I can't handcraft it. That's frustrating because I can't look at the recipe now. Okay, so it uses copper cable, which we have up there, and iron, which we have down there. So let's. Let's just join some stuff together. Okay, let's join lots of stuff together. Let's stop me having to run out across the map to get stuff. Hello! Okay, I'm gonna go... Conveyor belt is too long. Okay, number four. Is better. Okay. Uh, conveyor belt out of this. No, let's go four first, all the way up. Let's go 
out of there. Over there. Uh, another four item. Conveyor belt from there to there. And we'll run back up the hill to see how this works. I want all my storage sort of over where that storage is, roughly. Which means I need to find some way to go past all of that. That's how we're going to go. Okay, so conveyor belt to here. Oh, remove that. That conveyor belt to the very edge. This conveyor belt. Actually, no. We got access to stackable poles. That's how we're going to do things. Okay, you go in there. You go in there. Ha 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 ha! Okay, so then I'm going to work out how far these belts are going to reach before they go. Nope, you've gone too far. Four is too straight. Four conveyor belt is too long. So right about here, somewhere. So we're going to go conveyor bolt stackable. One, two, three, four. From here to the yeah, floor is too steep. I don't care. Creature and others so don't care. We're just looking for the too long marker. Belt is too long. Belt is too long. Belt is happy right here. So we want stackable. Yeah, between a biomass burner and a power pole, we're going to bring the belts right through the middle. Come on! From there, no, you can cut through that biomass burner. Okay, uh, so let's make you five and just leave it back. Okay, so up higher. Can you reach? No, I'm encroaching on others' clearance. So can I come back from there? No. Oop! I touched the belt. Okay, so I can come that way. Okay, for the moment, just go away. So I'm going to go from there... Which means you guys need to both go away and go from there to there, and your more expensive cousin needs to come up. Come on, to there. Oh, uh, I fell off again. That belt is going the right way, so can I stand on it, please? It just make my life so much easier. Hello, baby. So you're going to go to there. Now, unfortunately, there's a small bug that if you build a belt through your head, your head gets stuck. I was sort of hoping it might have got cleared up at the end of the alpha. Uh, the alpha weekend. Okay, so we're going to bring that to there. Okay. We're making progress. Eight. Storage container. Uh, that way. Can't afford it. Alright, let's go get some more rods. Which... 100. Uh, you 
you know, there's enough room to get into the ladder on that side, it's fine. Uh, okay, so we want, where are we? Number eight. Storage container, it's orange in, yeah, orange in, green out. Oh, this. Uh, so the bottom one is green. Whoop! That's right, I want to come down here to build stuff. Reinforced iron plate. We're going to plug... What do we got here? We've got screws, we've got iron plate, which we're going to get rid of, and rods. So, let's just assume... What? There we go. Let's assume you're happy in there. You're happy in there. We've got some sort of storage worked out. I'm going to bring you from there into here. We're going to bring you from there to four. You from there to there to there to can't afford. Really? Is that what you say? Uh, go ahead. Uh, so we have that one go into there. Now we have that new recipe, which production assembly. I am missing everything to build it. So, we'll play with it in the next episode. Um, so I think, between what production we have already coming across the map and what we already have here, we should have enough to make a second machine making reinforced iron plates with the new recipe. Um, but, yeah, we're going to do all that in the next episode. So, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I do hope you're loving this little series. Um, I know I'm definitely... I'm definitely satisfied with satisfactory because that is a pun that will never go away. Um, and no matter what, I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye.